back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with AEW action figure reviews, man. We are returning here. More and more new figures, man. More and more new figures coming at us, but we have the AEW Unmatched Series number 5, Brian Danielson, Darby Allen, and Kenny Omega figures. Now I'm gonna try somebody's suggestion. They said to do like 3-in-1 reviews like this. That way we only have to do 2 videos and then we can do a My Damn Thoughts. I think that can work for some series, but I think in other series it will not work, depending on who the characters are. Same thing with Elite Waves. I think it just... Uh, depends on who you get, how you get them, what they look like, the hype for the figures, but I feel like this is a good way to try it out just to see what comes of it. But we have AEW Unmatched Series number 5, Brian Danielson, Kenny Omega, and Darby Allen here today. Very, very excited for this wave. I think these figures look great. I feel like we've been waiting on this Darby Allen for years. And then this Kenny over here, I am ecstatic about, and then this Brian Danielson. I think it's the best action figure of him ever made, so we're going to get into all those things, man. Today should be really fun and exciting to get into all the details. Nonetheless, we did grab these figures from ringsidecollectibles.com using promo code MDTOYS to save ourselves 10%. If you guys would like to get in on that, definitely go check that out. Tons and tons of new action figures over there every single day, man, so you definitely want to go get it on that. Use code MDTOYS to save 10%. But here's all three figures, man. I do want to get into all their packaging because you, you know how we do. We had to do that, but Brian Danielson looks great here. You get the two interchangeable head sculpts. Got an image of Danielson over here. Really beautiful packaging, man. This is a beautiful looking figure. You, you, of course, got his name down the side. He is number 3070 on the unmatched line. You got the unmatched logo silver foil and aew logo there aew logo there brian danielson down here brian danielson back here signature rest of the figures in the wave how are we feeling about this wave you guys can let me know of course we are going to do a my damn thoughts on it at the end but there is brian danielson looking very clean we also have a look at darby allen here he is also looking very nice you guys know they like to do the classic ljn inspired packaging you got darby allen over here and the cartooniness in the light blue and yellow you got the collectible card the little poster inside very sweet figure, man. This looks awesome. You guys know the next one will be CM Punk, but there is Darby Allen. And then we also have this Kenny Omega, which I have been waiting and waiting and waiting on, man. In the promo heel gear, in the beautiful tuxedo jacket or suited jacket that looks hella nice. Ripped up jeans. Beautiful Omega. Kenny Omega on the side. Series 5, number 36. On the back, you get him here wearing said gear. Kenny Omega autograph. Rest of the figures in the wave. What an excellent turn of events, man. I can't wait to get into this. What we're going to do is we're probably going to, we're going to crack him out of the packaging. We're probably going to run through Darby Allen first just to showcase him because he doesn't have any accessories. You know, we'll, we'll look at him really, really quickly and then we'll immediately dive into the accessories of Kenny and Danielson and, you know, do the whole regular review thing. But let's shut the hell up, crack him out of their packaging, put him on the rotating base and find out what all three of these figures are about. I'm excited for today, man. Let's get into it. So here are all three figures out of their packaging. I'm liking it, man. I'm, I'm really actually super excited. It, it's kind of mind-blowing. Like, I had an expectation going in, and then when I got into it, man, I'm pretty John Brown happy, bro. And I don't know how many times you can say that from an MDT review, but I'm happy with it. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised at what we got going on right here, man. Maybe you're not surprised, but, I mean, I'm not really surprised. I was excited going in, but we're, we're going to shut the hell up. We're going to get into it, man. But what we're going to do first is just get into Darby Allen really, really quickly, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Brian Danielson's accessories and Brian Danielson and then we'll move on to Kenny Omega's accessories and Kenny Omega. And we're definitely going to do some torso swap because I got to see what guys look like in those jeans. And I think you guys are going to be excited to see that as well. Should be really fun, man. Let's dive into the details. Let's get started and get the hell out of here. All right, man, so getting into the Darby Allen LJN inspired little figure right here, man. Really like the face paint. All the paint apps, honestly, are really good. I like the mold here. Figure feels like really quite like you just want to pick it up and slam him. You know what I'm saying? I think you get a lot of that. Head sculpt looks very similar to his head sculpts we've gotten, but the details are nice. I think the paint apps are nice. You get a nice musculature. You got his tattoos on here. All the face paint detail on the back. You even get the relentless. You get his full arm sleeve. I do believe all this is tatted up now, so, you know, a little bit outdated. Not the biggest deal though but you do get your sculpted hand tape you get your hand tat drug free on his knucks you get the loose necklace i don't think you could get that off i mean if you tried to finagle it you probably could get it off but the head doesn't articulate no articulation on the guy but the shorts look good with the wash and the gray slash black and he does have his leggings slash you know tights on there and then he does have his regular black boots not a lot going on on the bottom half but it is you know paint on the butt so that's nice you get like full range of motion there i like it man really quality figure i like it a lot i do want to do some comparisons with this figure though and you know he has kind of a weird pose but the only other two LJN style figures we've gotten from AEW and Jazzwear so far is the Walmart exclusive Cody and then the regular Unmatched Series 1 Cody which both of, the, both of these were definite shelf warmers we have 
have CM Punk coming soon. You know, just some things to uh, talk about there, but he is uh, smaller. You guys can see here, he is definitely smaller than Cody, so that gives you a little bit, uh, you know, they're actually to scale, at least between each other, and we do have CM Punk coming, you know, somewhat soon, so we'll see how that goes, but Darby Allen's looking pretty good here. I, I like these. i definitely going to have my loose set, my mock set, and this is this is awesome, man. I like this Darby Allen figure, and he's became one of my favorites in AEW, so to see him have this and, and get this all started looks really good, but I also actually wanted to compare it to one of his unrivaled figures, so we do have the ringside exclusive coffin drop figure, and you guys can see here, I think they did a really good job, you know, I think that it captures it well, and you know, all of his comparisons here look great, but look at that head sculpt, I mean, they nailed it, I know the face paint isn't the same, but I think they nailed it, I think they did a really good job here, but anyways, toyetic guys make for toyetic things, I, I don't know. Now, as far as Brian Danielson's accessories go, I like these, you know, it's not a ton, I would have liked to seen a cloth shirt or something, but the head sculpts look really, really good, man. The screaming expression and hair sculpt, and then the pissed off expression and hair sculpt. This is more of like a wet, you know, post-match or during match hair sculpt, but he's got it on the sides there. It's usually darker, but I think they got the color right. I think the likeness is, is perfect, really. I think it looks just like him. The beard sculpt's nice. The likeness is nice. I love it. God in heaven. Never fumbled in my football career, but here I am. And then you have the kind of like pre-match man bun, you know, serious face here, which looks really good. I just think they're too big, man. They really are. They're too, they're too oversized, and I think it kind of takes you out of it, but at the same time, they look really damn good, so that's something to say, but they gotta they gotta decrease the size of these things, because it really takes you out of it, but these look really, really good, and AEW's been on a pretty good streak of good head sculpts. They're not perfect, but Mattel isn't either, so you know, I, you gotta give them props to that. And then outside of that, you get interchangeable fisted hands, which are always stiff as hell, and then you get your mic holding hands, but he doesn't come with a mic, which is very shocking, honestly. Probably the most shocking thing you'll hear in this video is that the Brian Danielson figure does not come with a microphone. So, honestly, I totally baffled. Day ruined. All right, man, so gonna get a Brian Danielson starting out at the top of the head sculpt. I actually like this head sculpt a lot. I like the serious expression. You even get the little man bun there. And I think it really works well. I think it looks really, really good. I think that I like it. I like it a lot. And this is what I love, all right? You guys know that Mattel, for years, has given us that tiny Daniel Bryan torso, man. Well, no longer do we have to deal with that. They actually got the accurate proportions here with the chesticles and the whole upper body, man. I am I am loving this. I think this looks excellent. Really great proportions going on with this guy. You get the white wrist tape that's slightly molded on there. I am having a little bit of issue with this one arm. I feel like it's a bit loose. Like the bicep swivel is a little loose for me. But I am digging this a whole lot. You get your red trunks with your silver and white and black all tying together. Very, very clean. Very Daniel Bryan-esque. You guys know. Kind of reminds me of the Elite 38 or Elite 32 figures we got from Mattel. Very, very similar. You know, he's always about the red trunks over his career. You got the nice thighs going on open knee pads here with the same pattern very very clean attire and he does have the the kick pad swivel thank christ get the dragon logo on there very nice details man i like this kick pad mold i am just loving this figure man overall figure just moves and feels so nice man oh my goodness gracious alive very buttery smooth here you don't get that like unmatched series 3 stiffness i feel like the hands are a bit stiff i feel like all aew hands are pretty stiff which i don't like but i think overall you're getting a lot of stuff here man i mean good god in heaven like i am just i am just having so much fun with this guy thigh cut oh my god i don't even know what i'm saying but you guys get the point let's get into these comparisons but this brian danielson rocks man holy shish just shish so for your brian danielson figure comparisons man you guys can just see here look how tiny this daniel brian is man and i will say is he a bit too big probably like i mean this guy's dude like look at this difference i mean there he's a pretty deep he's like half an inch taller at least and he's definitely much girthier. He's got way more articulation. Like, his thighs are meaty. I mean, I'm trying to get, like, a nice comparison. Here is Kenny Omega up next to him. Yeah, man. I mean, his head's definitely oversized. Yeah, I feel like, good God, are we getting, like, closer to Jack size? I feel like these guys are getting kind of ridiculous in size here. But overall, I really like the Brian Danielson, man. I just think that it needs to be shrunk down. They gotta shrink these guys down. That's kind of, that's kind of worrisome how much bigger he is right here. But I still think he can get away with it. But I do love that he's not like tiny you know but at the same time that's a little bit too big for my liking especially like the head sculpt size but uh it just figure looks and feels amazing but your scale needs to work you know your scale has to be somewhat in line and um, like and if it's not you're gonna run into some issues here's the brock lesnar ultimate edition so like you can see the issue here man like look at that right there like these these i don't know if you could fight these two you know what i mean i don't know if you could get away with that i feel like it's too he's too big like, you can, it's not believable, but if you get this one in here, now that looks better, right? Like, if you compare these 
to, the size makes way more sense. But when you get this one, this looks way better. It feels way better. It's got way more articulation. But look at the size difference, man. They need to fix this. This is a big issue for me. But overall, I do love the figure. I just, good God in heaven at the size. He's massive. Looks good, though. So getting into Kenny Omega's accessories, <laughs> you guys already know what I'm seeing. I mean, it is hilarious at this point. Another AEW microphone. I mean, I'm not going to tear it to shreds because, it, you know, it's it's quality. I'm glad that we get so many of them, but I got good God in heaven, man. Asinine. Another AEW microphone. You also get an AEW championship. Seen this quite a bit now, but, you know, I'm never going to complain about it. It's like a WWE title. You throw it in there, I'm going to appreciate it every single time. I'm not going to tear it to shreds because it's another championship belt. I love championship belts. You love championship belts. We all love it. It's what the sport's all about. It's all great. Now, outside of those, we do have these, like, custom shades here. Now, I don't think they go on the figure as good as I would like, but they do have the nice gold details and sculpt on there, which is cool, but as far as getting it on the figure, you do have to be very careful or it will fall off here. Like, it'll go on there, but you do have to be careful. Like, it'll go on there, but if you shake it a little bit, it is gonna fall off, but it, it'll hug the ears a little bit, but it does look good on there, which is always nice to see. I don't know if you're gonna get it, like, perfectly placed on there, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. You guys can see there. It's kind of finagly, but you, you, you can make it work, at least for photos and display. Just be careful with it, you know? Alright, man, so getting into Kenny Omega, this head sculpt, I think that it works in certain aspects. I, feel, I mean, you know, it's not like perfect by any means. Paint gets a little bit choppy there in the eyes. Like, I feel like it doesn't all the way look like Kenny, but if you yell like this, your eyes do get squinty like that. You know what I mean? Like, that is that is definitely accurate. I think the likeness is there. You know, the hair's there. I like the sculpt. You do get your nice handlebar mustache, which looks good, connecting to the beard and everything like that. Necklace is cool there on the t-shirt. Very nice sculpts going on. I love this jacket. The suited jacket looks so awesome. When we first saw the render of this figure, I was super excited for it. We are going to do some head swaps in a minute and, you know, get into the torso swaps and stuff, but I just love all the detail here. I love how the pins are pretty much hidden, you know? Like, if you're just looking at this, you cannot just see them straight off. They don't stand out because of the pattern, so that's really nice as well. I think that the articulation feels good. Jacket feels good. It doesn't hinder anything. I love that we have this crotch piece going on with the jean mold. You get your stitching in here. Got the patch. Got the dry brushed, like, airbrush kind of look with the white over the blue. You do get the tears in there with the skin tone showing through. You get the th lower thigh cut. You get all the denim in here. Very good details on this figure, man. The wrinkles look good. The skinny jean look looks good. The white shoes. I mean, you could make anybody, really. I mean, like, you could put uh, any sort of torso with some cloth goods on here and make a manager and make a, a street gear version of a guy. This is just sick as hell. I love this. I think this looks excellent. I think the figure feels quality. I think it's safe to say this is one of my figures they've ever done, man. When you get in articulation, he can't look up because of the hair, but he can look down a decent amount. Ab crunch isn't perfect, but it's not terrible. I think it's still better than an Ultimate Edition, you know what I mean? But... A bit loud here for the diaphragm movement, but the arms are, are buttery smooth. The bicep swivels butter, buttery smooth. You don't have to worry about, you know, that, like, looseness that I usually talk about with unrivaled figures. The kick forward is very nice. Can't kick back, of course, but double-jointed knee. You get the upper thigh cut. You get the lower cut in the shin. You get the up-and-down movement of the shoe, and you get great ankle pivot. I mean, this is a boss of a figure. I am loving this figure so very much, and I don't know if I'm going to put it down anytime soon, man. I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself here. This figure is very, very good. I mean, that's all I can really say about it. I do want to get into some figure comparisons, though, because this Kenny Omega is not like the rest. So for your Kenny Omega figure comparisons, man, you get, you know, we get, we've gotten a potluck of Kenny Omegas, like so many different ones. You have the ringside exclusive authentic scale ring, the series one, the series four, the ringside exclusive exploding deathmatch barbed wire match. I know that wasn't the right order. Unmatched series one and then unrivaled series one B, and then of course the unmatched in the middle. I mean, dude, this is uh, so cool. I mean, I'm ready for the Supreme. Apparently, the Supreme is coming very soon. I have some background knowledge on that. Apparently, it's coming soon, so we can we can hope that that starts shipping soon, but so now, so now we have two different jeans figures, or, or pants figures, but we do have plenty of wrestling gears. I think that uh, a lot of people would say the Unrivaled and the Unmatched Series 1, or the Unmatched Series 1 and the Unrivaled Series 4 are the two best, but this one does have a case, man. I mean, this figure is really strong, and if we take off the Series 4 head, it gives you a different 
different haircut, but he still is yelling, and you know, you get the same effect there. So that could work for your Kenny Omega. You know, it doesn't fit the era, but if you want a Kenny Omega in these jeans and not have, you know, the crazy handlebar beard deal, you could do that. I think that looks pretty good. If you want to pop that off and then go with, for the unmatched serious face, could also do that, man. So that's what's so great about these Unrivaled figures is you can, you know, plug and play and get different looks. And there you go. Look at that. That's pretty badassery, man. I like that a lot. And we could also pop this figure off here. And now you, you, you can do anything, right? I mean, you have so many different options here. You could take the Unmatched Series 1 here and you could make a shirtless Kenny. So look at that right there. Look at that right there. Now I have a shirtless Kenny. Take that. Pop that this on here. Now I have a shirtless Kenny in jeans. Now I could put like just a t-shirt on it. And look, now I have a, a promo gear Kenny here. I mean, if you want to get really crazy and obnoxious, you may, I don't know, I'm about to attempt something here in a minute, but there's this Kenny. I have an MJF here. Pop this MJF here. Look at that. Now I have an MJF in jeans. Dude, this is pretty sweet. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you hate AEW. I don't care, you know, you don't like these figures, this is still pretty badass how I can just, I can just come over here and I can just plop Brian Danielson in this. Now, Brian Danielson's massive, but this is still a pretty cool look there if you want it. Like, dude, he has a massive torso, let's be honest. I mean, he's gigantic. He's he, he's like an LJN out here, but it's still cool to see. Now, one last thing I want to try before we get out of here. I have to attempt this. I don't know. I mean, it's not terrible. He may be, uh... I I think it works. I think you could easily make this work if you wanted a, uh, a Cassidy that wrestles, but yeah, he's he's definitely very slim in the waist there, so it's probably not going to work, but I guess if you have the shirt on there and the jacket, it I guess maybe you can make that work. I don't know. Get some more articulation, maybe for some, at least some figure photography, so you don't have to, you know, cut your legs right here and have this very loosey-goosey thing going on, but yeah, I mean, dude, this figure's fantastic. I'm having a ton of fun here, and uh, AEW's just been killing it. Besides the size of these guys, I mean, they're They've done a pretty good job here. I, I would like to... I mean, once we get the Supreme Collection, you're going to have a lot more head options for this guy, and you can put those, you know, the straight face, the smiley, the pissed off, the smirking, whatever heads that come with that Supreme Collection. You're going to be able to do that, and that's going to give way more options to this and probably make this figure look better, but I'm having a ton of fun. This figure kicks all the asses. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 3-in-1 AEW Unmatched Series 5 Brian Danielson, Kenny Omega, and Darby Allen figures, man. Again, really enthralled with these. Had a ton of fun with the review. Had a ton of fun with these figures absolutely incredible figures. I love these. I, I I truly think that the Brian Danielson and the Kenny Omega are two of my favorite figures we have seen from AEW. Really fun in hand, really posable. I do have a problem with my right bicep of the Daniel Bryan or the Brian Danielson, excuse me. It's it's it, it gets loose. I don't know what they can do about that. I think they need to increase the peg size of the shoulder. Like, make the arms... I'd rather it be super duper tight than uh, super duper loose, you know what I mean? And I think that it struggles to hold, hold position sometimes. Also, I think that his head sculpts are kind of oversized. I think that they're a little bit too big. I think they could shrink maybe 10 to 15 percent. You guys can probably even notice it here spinning around. The Kenny Omega one and the Brian Danielson one, you guys can kind of see like the size difference, I think. But I really like the LJ and Darby. We've been sitting on that one for a while. You know, it's kind of its own little taste there, own little own little crowd there. But I enjoy the figures. They're really fun. They feel great in hand as well. But this Kenny Omega is fantastic. Love the poseable legs. Love the Brian Danielson. The Kenny Omega is really detailed. I love the pants. Love the head sculpts. I think that there's ton of playability there. Just overall, very, very good start to this Unmatched Series number five way. And I can't wait to see these at retail. I still haven't seen Unmatched Series four, but I think that these are great. I am super excited for them and to get, you know, even more copies and make customs and fix-ups. But I love the white shoes. The jeans are sweet. Just, just really epic and fun figures. I love all the articulation. It is just a breath of fresh air every time I get these figures. And I love them, man. I really, really do. But before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout-out. And today's shout-out is going to go to Manuel Vasquez who says next crowdfunding project should be Smackdown with the Fist and they could have Ultimate Edition Booker T and JBL if they wanted to. I think that'd be epic. I think that, you know, maybe like a Smackdown Fist stage is probably my number one. I think that would probably be great. I think a Hell in a Cell. I think Elimination Chamber. I think that any of that stuff right there would be... Anything Ruthless Aggression is going to be an automatic cop. I mean, I'm probably going to have to automatically cop it anyway because I really want to get it out to you guys. I want you guys to be able to see and feel this thing through your phone or whatever device you watch this on. I want you you guys
guys to get a realistic look and a great identity for any projects that we get, any figures we get from these companies. I want you guys to be able to see that through these reviews, and I want you to have an unbiased look and an opinion behind it. So I'll probably be backing anything they release, but it would be bonus points to see something that I really want. You know what I mean? So that would be awesome, man. I think an Ultimate Booker T and JBL would be great. I think if they do any future crowdfunders, they got to include three Ultimate Editions. I think that is like absolutely a thing, especially if they want a certain price point. They're going to have to include, like the last crowdfunder, we got three Ultimate Editions. I think you have to do three Ultimate Editions, man. Or really high quality Elites. I think you can get away with the Elites if they have a lot of accessories because it's not like Elites aren't on par with Ultimates nowadays anyway. You just got to throw in some cool accessories, but I guess you could justify the price point maybe if you include Ultimates, but huge shout out to Manuel for the comment. I think that is absolutely a great idea. I would love to see that. They really do need to update Elite JBL from Elite 23. Figure's way too small and it's way outdated. They could absolutely upgrade him at any point, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts. Leave me your thoughts down below. I appreciate you guys. Have a blessed day and I'll see you guys next time. You cross the line.